Hello, my friends, and welcome to another exciting adventure into God's limitless outdoors. You know, every year we look forward to the opportunity that we have to leave the drab and dreary life down in the valley and go up into the amazing mountains and pursue big, mature mule deer bucks. And in this video, Adam and Shane are chasing after bucks in the fog in the high country of Montana, and they connect with an awesome buck at close range. I hope that you enjoy this hunt as much as they enjoyed putting it together. Wow, you just never know. Yeah. <sighs> hey, he has a he has a pretty good neck. Let's see a four by three. I can't see him either too bad. <laughs> trick. Flick your hand like a tail. Just calm them down. Oh, you go. Okay, that's a good idea. Adam and Shane spent the rest of this first day poking around in the fog, but not turning up any more bucks, so they headed up the next day into a new spot. Day two. <laughs> We're going to a different spot. There wasn't very many deer yesterday, so... We're going to one of Shane's spots. He says there's lots of deer, so I'm holding him to it. It's kind of foggy, so we'll see what the visibility is once we get up higher, but we'll uh, hopefully get into something. Shane just spotted a buck, I don't know, like a thousand yards over there. It looks pretty good, so we're gonna puff it up the ridge and get within 400 yards of some more openings that he might come through. So best shot, might as well go for it. Yeah. Oh, that worked out. It's not working out very well. It's too foggy. Yeah, we got up here, and it's still foggy where we wanted to see him at. As fast as he was going, he's probably he's gone. Oh, gone by now. He's in that over here. Yeah, anything could happen up here. Even though the weather wasn't cooperating well for Adam and Shane, they kept pushing up the mountain and started to get into some deer. As they worked farther up the mountain, they started to wrap into this little draw and came out right on top of a herd of mule deer with a really solid buck in it.
Adam and Shane are right on top of this buck. They have been about 40 yards from this herd of mule deer for the last five minutes. And after taking a really good close look at this buck, Adam decided it was one that he wanted. So they just waited until he presented a shot and made it happen. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good buck. Yeah. That's a really good buck. He's real solid looking buck. He's a big mature buck. Big character buck. <sighs> That's a good buck. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm really happy with that. I got him solid on video for a long time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he looks like he did. You know something? Opportunity is a strange thing. Um, Opportunity happens when we put ourselves in a position where the thing that we're after is in a close proximity to us, right? And so when I think about mule deer hunting in the fall, like we're all looking forward to that opportunity and we put in all this work and we take time off and we get up early and we hike up in the mountains and we're just looking for that opportunity at a big buck. And what happens though is that we get up there and I've had these, these times when you know, I'm looking for the perfect deer and I'm passing up all these great deer and all these great opportunities um, and they get away from me. And I've had years where I go home empty handed and I don't, I don't seize the opportunity that is right in front of me. And the reality is with Jesus is that we have this monumental opportunity. It's the opportunity of an eternity with Jesus. And he's in close proximity to us. You know, Acts chapter 17 says that we have been put in this time and in this place for a very specific reason. In other words, we have been put in this time in the year 2022. We have been put in this location, wherever you're watching this from, it's not an accident that you live where you live. And the purpose of God putting you there, he formed you in your mother's womb, he built you, he has a plan for you, and he puts you in a specific location so that, Acts 17 says, so that you would have the best opportunity of finding God. Now, I don't know about you, but I've hunted in places before where you don't even have a, an opportunity to find a big buck. They just don't exist there. You can hike up some mountains and they're just not there. But on some mountains, you find the big bucks and you have this opportunity when you're there. And with Jesus Christ, you have an opportunity right now. He's not far from you, Acts 17 says. He says, he, although he is not very far from any of us, we are supposed to look for him and try and find him. We've been put in this place so that we have the best opportunity to find him. And right now, you're hearing about Jesus. And this today is an opportunity for you to learn more about the God who made you and who wants a relationship with you. So I wanna challenge you today to go over to our website. It's www.limitlesshunting.com and take this opportunity right now to pull the trigger and learn more about the God who created you for a very specific purpose. And I'm telling you right now, until you understand the purpose that God has for your life, you will never, never feel like you are living. There'll always be a hole in your heart. There'll always be this, this empty space that you're looking to try and fill with everything else. And you will never satisfy it until you allow God to come into your life. So take this opportunity today, go over to our website and request a copy of the first mile. It's a resource that I wrote that'll help you understand everything about who Jesus is, why we need a relationship with him, how to have a relationship with him, and what it looks like to walk from here out, how to, have a, how to navigate life going forward. It's a great first step. It's a great opportunity. And I wanna challenge you today to go over there and do it. God has life abundantly and eternally waiting for you if you would just seize the opportunity. God bless you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this hunt. That's so cool. All right. Man, that looking really cool. You're just a whole chunker, man. That is awesome. That is, yeah, that's a big buck. That is just just an old timber buck. Yeah. 
on the log. Man, I don't think I dragged that thing out of there. That is cool. That's what we came here for. At least. Yeah. Couldn't pass him up hardly. He's on video so good. Yeah, that's, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that buck. No. How's that feel? Heavy. Heavy? Heavy as always. That looks good. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you look good. On. You look good with that. Yeah? Yeah. Me with your buck on my back looks good. Yeah. That's good. Awesome. That's the feeling of a successful day. Yeah.